Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Very good. Fantastic. Um, your camera's off, but uh, that's I guess oh, shit. that's hang on a minute. That's right, I'm you. yeah. Hang on. So I'm. It says I'm right. Uh, User settings. It says video video connected. But it's not like a video call. It's just like I'm I'm watching. Well, you can turn on your camera, um, and you can also, well, if you. Oh, hang on. Is that oh oh turn oh yeah oh there it is yeah there it yeah, is. The the, you mean the button the button that looks like a camera? Yeah, that one. That one. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. That... Oh god, I feel so old. God, I look so old. Oh my, is it that early? I don't know. I'm 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 trying to get your face in on the stream. Hang on. Uh, how do you do that again? Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna. Have to, oh, Discord. Oh, I love you so, but not really. Um, uh, Hardwitch Cam. Hardwitch Cam. Is yes, I gotcha. Professionalism is not what I do, but here we uh, go. I, oh, no, I don't want that one. I want that one. There we go. Oh, I'm huge. Look at that. Yeah, I'll just turn you down slightly. I love the fact that you're on camera, but I'm not. <laughs> Maybe we should do <laughs> something. Of, we should do something about that. Hang on. Uh, let's turn that thing off. Blech. Well, I'm still not on cam. Let's do something about that. Whoosh. All right. Do I just need to lip sync when you talk? And then, oh, okay. <laughs> like, like that thing where you like you stick your hands through someone else's like this and all that. Yeah. Just, like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, good morning. Uh, in the chat, Cenk has said, have you tried turning it on and off again? Yes, thank you everyone who's ever watched the IT crowd. <laughs> Actually, I only got like like two episodes into the IT crowd and decided it wasn't for me. I, I, but maybe I should have given it more of a chance, but uh, I don't know. Has anyone else I've not watched it for a long time. I remember really enjoying it. I also know Graham Linehan is, is not... Um, not popular at the moment. No, for no. So for he's, like, he's got that kind of conflicted, like, mm, yeah, yeah. I'm probably not going to watch that right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I think he is what what is in in your parlance. He's a bit of a twat. Um, that was the word I was looking for. Yeah, uh, and also one of my favorite uh, shows is Black Books, which he co-authored. Uh, yeah, which I absolutely adore. But again, it's just uh. yeah, and Father Ted. I mean, yeah. It, I mean, he's in his in his time. He's 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 been a funny old chap. But it's um yeah no not not uh, not won't be, won't be watching those again anytime soon. <laughs> no yeah well uh, well I can still I can still watch Dylan Moran's uh, stand up shows. I can still watch Bill Bailey's stand up shows. It's all good. Yeah yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I went to see went to see Dylan Moran a couple of times actually. It was it was it was it was really good. Oh really? He yeah, he, yeah. he came to Denmark once. And um, uh, to to like a, a small little comedy club, and of course we got tickets. We got up front. We uh, you know we're gonna you know watch the master at work. And like halfway through his set, he completely lost his train of thought and just sat down uh, for like five minutes and just had a sip of wine and just went, "Don't worry, I'll get there." And just <laughs> yeah. He, he, to be honest, the first time I saw him, he was he was really good. And the second time I saw him, he was obviously trying out new material. And he was, he was in a, so the first time I saw him was in London. And the next one was a few years later. And it was in a, a little sort of, um, kind of town, it's a rural town called Buxton. Hmm. And he was, he was, he was doing slightly, slightly smaller venues around the country. And he, again, you could tell he was like, he's like, oh, I'm going to try a new joke. And like, it would, it, like, if it fell a bit flat, he'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then and then they kind of about halfway through, he sort of started resorting, and he kind of went, he kind of clicked back into kind of older material. So it was the same, same sort of stuff again. So second time was yeah, it was it was it, it's definitely a it's a it's a bit random as as a, as an act. It's like yeah, <laughs> it's not, it's not predictable. No, definitely not. I I saw one of his first stand up shows ever, where he just came up on stage in a like a flannel shirt with a bottle of beer in his hand, and everyone was just looking at him, going, "What is this mess? What is happening?" <laughs> and like ten minutes into his set, it was like a tiny little uh, i don't know 30 minute set or even shorter than that probably and by the end of it he just had everyone rolling on the floor laughing and just, this unassuming uh little wiry headed dude just comes up on stage and everyone just goes this is not gonna this is gonna tank isn't it 
and he yeah. just completely blows everyone away. I think if he's, I think if he's in the zone, I think he's all right. I don't oh, think yeah. if he's not in the zone. He's he's just a little wiry headed man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <zone>. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, well, so good morning, everyone, morning. Uh, in in the uh, in the uh, in the chat and uh, everywhere else, I guess. Uh, so, um, joining us today is Mr. Tom Hardwich of Tall Story Games. That's the uh, dude uh, below me, <laughs> right there. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's poking me in the ribs. Ow. <laughs> um, so of course we are we are streaming this at an ungodly hour in the morning, and uh, we will continue to do so. In fact, I will continue to do so uh, three times a week, uh, starting at nine a.m., uh, unless otherwise specified. In what we uh, we are affectionately now calling the stream regime part two. I used to have one, now I have an, uh, another one. Uh, so uh, Tuesdays is modern gaming time, and uh, today's modern game is Lucy Dreaming, and that is why we've got. Oh, it is! It is such a oh. Hang on, cutting Tw edge. Oh, <laughs> the Twitch chat is uh, is poking me in the ribs now. Yeah, you, you little. Oh, hang on! I, I simply cannot abide this, <laughs> this ungodly uh, unprofessionalism. Hang on a bit. So, how many how many different windows and 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 platforms are you balancing right now? <laughs> right, <laughs> just... cobble this together. I just I just got two screens and and way too many windows going right now. I'm just not solid. Yeah, I'll 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 join you in this. Ah, you're you're good. All you have to do is just sit back and relax and and enjoy. Although I don't, I'm not sure if you can hear the game. Actually, we should do a quick audio test. Uh, because I'm just streaming my screen. I believe. Uh, let's see. Excuse me. You can't hear that, can you? I can't hear it. No. Oh, that's terrible. You know, one thing I could do is, of course, screen share the game in. Yeah, yeah. Frogfather heard that. Everyone on the stream heard that. It was, it was awful. Oh, it's just me. Okay, well, I know, I know what she says anyway. Most of the time. <laughs> so, no. there's, there's subtitles. So if I if I if I can't hear it, don't don't stress over it. I, I can probably just about. Oh, well, you know what I can do, and uh, I can instead of uh, sharing my OBS camera, I can just share the game instead. Uh, you won't be able to see me, but you'll be able to see the game, which is a pretty good trade-off, I have to say. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can, oh, synchronizing. It just downloaded an update. I wonder what that's about. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know what that is. <laughs> That's not the only update. There were there were also some some bug fixes and a few a few little things. There are there's been a little that sort of little long tail of little things that need tweaking. So nice. Okay, so it wasn't perfect. Oh no no, no it was it was brilliant. Uh, where did it go though? Oh it, yeah, it does just disappear. That's that's the first puzzle. Oh, <laughs> oh there we go. I found it. So. In the Discord stream, you should be able to see Little I Lucy. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I can see her now. There she is. Yeah. Hello, Luce. How's everyone doing? Well, let's see. Uh, let's see if you've got a one up on Space Venture already, if the options actually work. Yes! You got an up on Space Venture. <laughs> They released the uh, 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 the game for backers only in a, sl a slightly buggy state, and one of the first things everyone noticed was that the settings button did absolutely nothing. I've I've, I've heard I don't I don't know anything. All, all I've heard is I've heard it's kind of its name invoked when like people chat about Kickstarter projects. Like it was like oh it's going to be another space venture. Oh let's hope it's not. Or, like there's, 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 it seems to, I don't know anything about it. All I've heard is I've just heard it mentioned. Well, I'm I'm quite fond of it myself. It was released for backers only, and they're working on a proper Steam release where they're going to fix all those bugs. And hopefully, the settings menu is going to do something as well. But it is like it, it was ten years in development, ten not so fun years, as I understand it. Is it is it a, is it a massive game? Is it? Uh, no, they just got they just got <laughs> a lot of uh, um, a, a lot of setbacks, unfortunately. 
Um, how's the audio, by the way, in the uh, in the chat? I did do a test earlier with the lovely paint train stuff. I just want to make sure it's nicely balanced. <gasps> Look at that! You can select Roland MT32. Oh, you can put it on Adlib. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh. Oh. We, were gonna, we were gonna put um, a, a PC speaker version as well, <laughs> but it was like, like, like in terms of budget, there was only so much I could put. And also, it's like I'm, a, I'm like I'm doing that for the sake of like a couple of nerds. And I mean, I know some people are gonna really enjoy it, but also it's like the amount of effort it takes to to produce that and all the all the and to get it all set up and everything. Oh and, yeah. And, um, see, it's, it was probably not. And, uh, and also uh, having to redo all the music uh, basically twice uh, yeah. would probably take a bit of a while. Who, who, who uh, did the music? Uh, it's a guy called... Uh, you know what? I don't know how to pronounce his second name. I'm going to give it a go. It's, it's called Bertrand... Guy, Gorgon? Gorgon? I don't know. He's, um, he's from... Uh, Klingon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgon, uh, do music. I feel, I feel like he's, he's from like Brittany or something I can't remember exactly um, right. but he's um, he approached me after the Kickstarter and basically he said I I, I, I played the demo um, I, I had, somebody else did the music for the demo originally mm. um, I did a really good job um, but he approached me and said you know I, I played the demo and I've just been faffing about in in my my kind of my software and I, I produced this and he sent me the, I think the, the tune is on the main menu now, which is yeah. Lucy's kind of theme. Um, and he said, um, he said I've, I've done it as kind of a Roland MT32, and I've done it as like an ad lib version as well. And I was listening to both of <laughs> them, was like, right, first of all, it's awesome. And it was only like a sketch, you know what I mean? Like, no, it, 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 it wasn't all completely sort of finished by that point. Mm. Um, and the second is like, and also now I have to have both, and I have to like every tune <laughs> in the game. So if at any point in the game, um, you want to switch between, so if you just press the letter M on your oh. keyboard, it, it'll switch between Adlib and Roland, and a little, little picture of the sound card kind of appears in the, in the corner, so you know which one you're on. Oh, that's um, beautiful. But it's like, it's like, it, but that was, I was never going to do that. That was not, there was no, I'm not an audio kind of centric kind of person, but he's like, it's like, like, that can't not have both of those in there, because I grew up through that generator we, yeah, we had a piece of speaker and we had it then we had ad lib and then actually you know what we didn't have a role of we don't i don't think anyone did it's no, it's all no. they're, they're all second hand they're all in the hands of nerds uh in yeah. my discord apparently um so we thought we, we end up but i but i recognized the sound i recognized the you know the, 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 mm. the, the sound of the two so i it was nice to be able to allow people to choose what what level of Nostalgia, you know, well, how old are you? Before yeah, exactly. You and it's like, okay, well, we'll give you, we'll give you CGA graphics, and we'll give you an ad lib. We'll set it to your your own uh, nostalgia level. Oh, that is that is brilliant. Well, let's get in. Let's see what this is all about. Hi, oh. I'm Lucy. Hi. And right now, I'm plummeting through the air at twenty miles an hour. Sounds like a fun okay. evening. Actually, right now, I'm in my bedroom, experiencing the same nightmare that's been. Plaguing me for years. So she's like a young Gabriel Knight. Everything. Soothing light, meditation, yeah, warm milk. I've even tried listening to my dad's oh, now. Oh, That's I'll what I call calm cassette. <laughs> Both sides. Nothing seems to work. If only I could find a way to control what goes on inside my head when I'm asleep. I might be able to have sweet dreams for once. But until then, here we go again. So is this like a primal fear of yours, uh, free falling? I mean, I can't, even like everyone, I occasionally have that sort of go, like yeah. in the middle of the night for no reason, um, but not oh, sort of. was a horrendous way especially. to start the day. <laughs> Although, my dad mentioned something last I night. I am afraid of heights. With my nightmares. Okay. I can't remember exactly it's what the, it was, it, it does, it does, the, the nightmare does, does evolve as you kind of go through it Ooh, as well. It uh, looks it's like I've just spoiler, received an it's, email. It's, like, it's not just like, it doesn't concentrate on, on that. Mm. Um, so is the game a bit loud for everyone in the uh, in the chat? Do I turn it down a bit? It's a bit loud in my ears, actually. I can't hear it at all, so I'm... <laughs> really? <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah, no, it's, I can't, I'm, I'm, it's, it's mute for me. It's really? Fine, it's fine, because I know, I, 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 oh my god, I, 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 I could lip sync it. I've heard this so many times. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, yeah, uh, but, uh, uh, well, I screen shared the game and everything. That's weird that it's not... Uh, no, don't worry, I can, I can hear you, and it's like, so it's, it's fine, it's putting out. Yeah, but that's terrible. You don't want that. Uh, let me just, let me just see if I can fix that real quick. Lucy, where'd you go? She crashed. There you are. That's a feature. There we go. Um... But on the point you were saying, like, because you mentioned Gabriel Knight, that obviously, like, the game, I think anyone who's sort of seen these screenshots knows the game has got, like, some references to a couple of games in there. I don't, hopefully it doesn't kind of hammer them too hard. Oh, no, no. The focal point for that. Um, but there are also, apparently, hundreds of references in there, which weren't even references, which, like, anyone who's, like, a, like an adventure game, like, this is for hard and Genji game fan, they'll, like, they'll click on something and go, oh, look, it's a, it's a pencil, that's a reference to something, like, <laughs> it really isn't. <laughs> so there's loads, loads of stuff in there that you might go, hey, is that a reference nice to this? And it and probably isn't, unless it's, unless it's, like, ob like, like, the little, got a little, kind of, things on the shelf and stuff like that, which are, like, obviously references. Anything that's like really, really subtle probably isn't actually a reference. It's probably just coincidence. <laughs> or subconscious decision of mine, who knows. Uh, I'm uh, doing a quick little... Uh... Oh, Lucy is quite low, actually. I'm just going to turn her down slightly so I can hear you better. I hope that doesn't uh, affect too much of the enjoyment of everyone watching the stream. I still can't hear it, but honestly, don't worry about me. I, like I said, I, I, it's, probably, it's probably nice for me because I'm chatting and you're chatting. Like, it's, it's, I, I know what I know. I, I, I know You've seen the I game am. before, essentially, is what I you're have, saying. Uh, yeah, on, on a couple of occasions, yeah. I have spotted it. <laughs> Right. Oh my God. So, actually, you know what? It's nice to now know if I if, if if this is the if this is the case that I've got a like a nice a nice hour dedicated where I'm not listening to the music from Lucy Dreaming for an hour. It's actually quite <laughs> nice because <laughs> it's been non-stop like earworm for the last. Oh, two years. is that? Is okay. It? All right, we're doing the thing. We're doing the simple weed park thing. Why we're not? I'll just add it to the rest. There aren't, there aren't any, you know what, there aren't any specks of dust in this one. No, nope. there, there's fluff instead. In case I need there's water fluff. while yeah, I'm in just bed. Just over there, just over there. <laughs> okay. A nice little Guybrush doll, obviously. He doesn't even look like a proper pirate. In the um, the demo, there were a few more... He's had enough fun of, for one um, genre. The ...things that were maybe slight... I mean, a he was, nice he was never called look. Guybrush or anything, he was always just a pirate doll, but there were a couple of things that were like mentioned the names of like like if I'm I in the demo play. originally if you looked time. at the if you tried to, if you looked at the little um car on the bottom there it said oh it's number plate says Ecto one inappropriately um, painted hearse <laughs> no, you know so it's like I've now I, I, I like the doll <laughs> on the thing so they're all kind of non IP infringing like yeah things he's that, surprisingly yeah, bad at trapping flies so. but swallows all sorts of other crap. <laughs> Let me know now, if you want. If you want me to, I can, I can, I can, I can walk you through stuff, or I can just let you. Just looks like I've got an email. Fart about. It wants my passcode. Hours and, you know, I'm sure it's in my brain I'm, somewhere, I'm but I'm buggered if I can remember like. it. <laughs> I'll make a note of that when I manage to find my diary. Oh, your diary! You want your diary? I, I found it over there. The, um, someone's asked. Is this Lucy ah, Edwards? I don't know who Lucy Edwards is actually. Um, but the, the voice for Lucy is actually um, now, uh, my wife, Emma key? Hardwick. So um, it's it, that was a just sort of decision we came to quite early on because I I write a, a lot. Like there were, <laughs> I mean, like you can sit there there are like it's all the all the now. items in her room are pretty Where much did I hide the key? A I'm sure um, I left it somewhere well game, guarded. There's just tons of stuff you can interact with. Yeah, I see. Like, you know, there's just little jokes and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> so I think in the game, by the end of the time we'd finished, there was about a, just over 11,000 different lines in there. So whoever was going to record the voice was going to have to do, I think, in terms of recording dialogue, so, like oh. character on the phone. Oh, you've gone back into it. So you've gone back into a nightmare. So when she goes back into bed, Jill, she goes back into a nightmare. Um, and that's what you've got to try and kind of solve. But as you kind of go yeah, through, you'll um, you'll figure out different ways of. Uh, At least she can get uh, to sleep uh, like really quickly. That's, yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> impressive. Yeah. You don't like go use, use bed, and then about 
three hours later after she's tossed and turned for really a bit, then, just then, then suddenly you get the cutscene. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, nice. I don't want any cold tea. I like the fact that you've got a, uh, an Adventure Game Studio blue cup in a game that's made in yeah. not Adventure Game Studio, but that's a nice, nice little callback. Because I, 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 started, I started looking at Adventure Game Studio first. And that was no way! Kyle would take and it's, my it's, fingers it's, off. And then I quite quickly then had to look at, at, at Visionaire, and it was just much more. It was just a bit slicker, okay. and it was very simple. So I, I built an HTML. Um, like a web-based Good idea. engine myself. He's always hungry. Mm. Here you go, Clive. Ding dings. For, uh, other other reasons where one of our, our clients is a marketing client. I built a point of click game for them. Okay. Um, and Let's the way the visionary was structured was Ooh, very similar to the way I'd structured the HTML engine like, game engine that I built. It's a small so gold kind of key, exactly, like you it's sort of intuitively where where things were and how the key to use fits. it. it, was, it was, now at it least I can felt, read what's inside. Like oh yeah, my dad was reading some book about positivity. That's a good place to start. He's probably left it downstairs somewhere. I love the accent. I'll it's... make notes in my diary as I go along so I don't the, forget actually, to do anything right, important. So there's, there's some, so, so something I'm, uh, I'm talking about, so asking in part. So there's a, there's a, a place in, uh, in the game as you get further on, um, which is called Fig Hall, and it's like an old stately home, and it's very much based on um, a, kind of an institution in the UK, which is called the National Trust, and they are, they are a kind of big organisation that own a load of old stately homes that, are, like, old rich people can't afford to keep up anymore. So they buy them, and they put a cafe in them, and people can go and visit, and, and they'll put, you know, mm. put a, a playground in, and, and that sort of thing. Um, and so and it's very much based on that. So it's it's called the Heritage Trust rather than the National Trust, but it's basically based on that. Not the Heretic um, Trust. One, That's something else. There's one that, down the road from me, which is called Aston Park. Um, the one in here is visually it's based on another National Trust property, which I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, no, I don't know. I can't remember. But the the characters who work in it are like a couple of old people. They are very much based. So one of them is called Esme Duckworth, and she is actually my my wife Emma's grandmother. So she she's certainly no longer with us, but she she used to work for the National Trust, and it's basically her. That um, went a lot of places. <laughs> how much of this stuff is? I'm interested. You said you you built your own game engine in this. Uh, in, yeah, in, in I think with like, engines in like <laughs> very 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 heavy kind of. Quick. It's. I mean, it was. I had. I had, when I built it, I I didn't even know that game engines existed. I I just built it because I had. I I I'd, I'd somehow convinced one of our clients that we could build them a point-and-click adventure game, and they agreed. <laughs> um, so I then had to build one. So uh, I just I just built it in JavaScript and CSS and, and HTML and, mm. and made, it, made it and it had you know it had like dialogue systems and I was able to you know it, in terms of the, the, the basic game but it didn't have, it, the, the character was just a static character that would it would swap the animated it's from oh yeah like, and then like talking or not talking or something like that um, and then whichever character was talking don't let it would Lloyd kind of swap right down stuff the bottom. out of his window um, again. But it was, yeah, it was, it was built out of, kind of, I just sort of pulled my way into a corner and just had to, had to build something. So I think I had like three months, I just built this like whole kind of game, game engine and game kind of from scratch in about three months. And then when, this was, a, this is back in 2019. And then when COVID sort of lockdown hit in the UK, I then used that same game engine engine um, <laughs> to build another game for myself. So I had a bit more time on my hands, so I just decided to build another game um, for myself, which was called this Lockdown. My dad was mm. and that, well, that was kind of what then it says you got me into, a into this. I met a load of people off the back of One, that. And, find a suitable oh, box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two, decorate with peaceful rooms. Three. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm listening to the hints being described to me right now. My toy bear would be perfect, but he went missing yesterday. Oh, so we're off to find a toy bear. Adding 
inspiration to distract from any negative thoughts. Pentagrams everywhere. Books and other literature were there are, there, there, is a, there, there are, there are pentagrams in it later on. I just place it next to my bed. This that, is that's, and that's, that's, that's had a, that's had a mixed reception. Note. You can combat fear with laughter. That is a huge How footnote. Insightful. <laughs> there you go. I also love the uh, font. It reminds me of something from uh, Deluxe Paint uh, in the old DOS days. You uh, know what? I think it might even be like Times New Roman. I think, oh. like, but, but like with no anti-aliasing. Yeah. It's just, I think that's what it does at like point size 11 or 12 or whatever it is when it's, when it's kind of that size. But I thought I was looking for uh, my password. And it said something like, go look in the uh, psychology book. I don't see password. I so, no, she's, uh, no, in her, so she, in, with the password, she said, it's, uh, it's in her brain somewhere, but she doesn't know where. Oh, so you um, have to go in, dream. Oh, you have to have a positive dream to find the password for the, ah, I see. I'm, I'm, I'm not here, I'm not here to dish out spoilers, but. Like, <laughs> <yes>. I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the. Uh, and that's it. That's the end of the game then. You've nailed it. <laughs> well, well, that was quick. Okay. Lloyd's bedroom, mum and dad's bedroom, we're off to find a teddy bear. It's probably not just lying in her room somewhere. Yeah, it smells funny in there. That's a dirty joke. There there are, I mean, there are some, it, like, it's it, I mean, it's a bit like, it's a bit kind of carry on. It's a bit there. like, there's, there's a bit of smut. Um, <laughs> Couldn't hurt to take a little look inside his room. <laughs> It looks like my Good fucking Lord. Lord. Well, you got the uh, uh, dark brown hair all cooked up. Yeah. I love. I love. I can't. I can't. Obviously, I can't hear this, but I love the voice of Lloyd as well. So there's, <laughs> yeah. what, there's a guy um, who's a really good friend of mine. I've known him for um, over 20 years, and he was he was be kind of best man at our wedding. Uh, a man called David, who has done everywhere? almost all of the scandal. male voices in this. He's done over like 20, like 23 voices. I think oh, wow. um, and he's he, he's that? done voices in, in like, previous games as well. And he's <laughs> he's just brilliant. he's never done like VO stuff before. Really, he's done, he's, he's like he's, he's done a bit of acting, um, but he's he's just I think he's brilliant, and he absolutely nails. Oh yeah. Groin surgery. Groin surgery. Groin it is. surgery. It's, went slightly Scottish there, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, it, it drifts. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, well, um, would you like something in return for my victim, please? No, Mr. Fumble. What? What's Mr. Fumble doing in your face? He's gonna be so popular with all the lady bears after his operation. That's dirty He's too. Going to <laughs> magnificent tripod. Whoa! Give my bear back. Get. Not unless you have something I can add more legs to. I'm off to find something you can add legs to. There you go. I'd say have, a, have another look around and see if there's anything else in there that you need to, in, in his in his room as well. I'd say if you. I wonder if I'm. Oh. How does he get it that high up the walls? Well, evidently he climbs onto the empty gerbil cage. Well, the guys obviously made a dash for freedom. I would too. Lloyd knows what happened to him. What happened to your gerbil? Oh, I like that you He's just assume that you're going to ask the character about something that you've just looked at. So it brings up the uh, dialogue tree. Usually that's just like a lot of... Oh, God. Yeah, okay. There's a few things like that where, that, to be honest, one of the main I things with testing, you. apart I from, uh, obviously, sure. like, I prefer to move in bugs and, and typos and stuff like that, was I making sure that the you. logic, like, just cutting corners that, that yeah. did, you know, a lot of sort of unnecessary, oh, wait, well, no, you have, I'm sorry, you have to use pickup. Yeah. That, rather than use doesn't work, or if you, you know, you have to look at it first and then you have to use it. So that just trying to, if somebody's done that, the intention is obvious. So I just kind of bypass that and, and, and kind of let it play through rather than making it like it a technicality that stop them from getting there. it. Um, that was, and it's because I, I don't, I don't want to be kind of accused of, of prolonging gameplay just through faffing about. You know what I mean? I want, you know, yeah. I want it to be a smooth kind of. I'd you know, rather it was, it was an hour shorter, but it, it wasn't just like 
I don't want to make it an hour longer just just because there's people not quite hitting the right combination of verbs in the right order or something. Yeah, see, that's the thing. There's a lot of... Uh, I mean, there's a difference between streamlining an experience and uh, making it too easy for the player or, or yeah. robbing them of their agency. When you, when you streamline a game, it is to anticipate something that they're already going to do, which is, yeah. you know, talk to the character about the thing you just looked at. Um, when you when you do when you do it wrong, you do it like the Orion conspiracy, where inventory items only highlight when you move them over whatever object they're supposed to be used on. Yeah. Or wait, no, that's not even how it works. Actually, you click on because there's a contextual UI in Orion conspiracy. You click on something, and if you can use an inventory uh, item with the object, it'll appear on you know the bottom thing, but it only oh, wow. shows. So it, yeah. it literally, it literally walks you through like. Yeah, it just what, says what you can use pick? this yeah. item here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And that's the thing. I, I, it's, it's a, it's a really hard thing to balance. It's probably the hardest thing to balance. Yeah. I, I found, in terms of, in terms of keeping people happy, is striking that balance where it's difficult enough that people feel that sort of sense of, of euphoria when they, like. When they actually f finish a puzzle, if it's too easy and they've not felt, and they've just felt that they, they were given the answer, they're not going to feel good or, or satisfied that they've solved it. Um, but also, there's then that frustration that you've got to balance it off of kind of, well, I'm just stuck, and I'm, and, yeah, and people are so quick to, I've got to find a walkthrough because they're just there. You know, the mm -hmm. walkthroughs are just, you know, there's just Lloyd hundreds of them in different right forms. The just within now. an hour of launching the game, there's like. <laughs> walkthroughs just all over, all over the place. Yeah. Also, okay, a quick shout out to the bowl of wax fruit uh, from Maniac Mansion. That's yeah, thank you. Uh, chef's not, kisses. Uh, not, not a reference. Not a reference. It was, it, no, it was a bowl of fruit, but then there's a puzzle later on where you, where you use a bit of fruit. And I, and and when testers are saying, well, I, I, why can't I use the fruit? I was like, Fine, fine, it's wax. There you go. <laughs> now it's wax fruit. And then everyone's going, oh, hey, it's Maniac Mansion. It's like, I, I, I've never completed it. I, I played it at somebody else's house when I was about eight or nine. And I don't remember, I, I'm guessing there is a bowl of wax fruit. Um, but I, I, I completely, independently okay. put wax fruit in it. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's uh, well. But, that's it, but it's one of those. But I'm also I'm quite happy. Like I'm I'm revealing now that I I know nothing about that previous adventure games. Um, Badger Iron Hulk, obviously. Well, Badger. Well, I, she said I need something bigger to plug up the hole with. So obviously okay, you've no. you've given away that uh, he. Yeah. When I try to pick him up, he's going to scoot back through the hole. In fact, if let's you, just test you... that. I can't Look reach at the him. hole. It might give you a bit of a. I can see all the way I'm through to the lounge. Hole. Okay. Oh, no, or use use hole. I can't. Well, there's something. I think. Or there's. I'm too big. I should probably use the door instead. Oh, no. Yeah, and if I tried to, uh, I, I tried to put the stuffing in, and she said, I can probably find something bigger to, uh, um, to plug it up with. There's there's one combination of things. If you try, if you try, oh, I can't remember. Or if he does run, oh, I think if he does run through it, him. I think she then goes, oh, I know, I know, I know. I, sort of, I think it then kind of gives you the next level. And says, oh, I, I know. See through to the there's hallway. something somewhere that might help me block it up. I mean, like, it does, hmm. it does activate the clues a little I bit. Don't want to make there we go. Use stuffing. I can she probably find something better yeah, to block it up with. with. And this is one of those things where the protagonist is probably like a step ahead of me, thinking okay, I know what to do. I'm just waiting for you to catch up. Yeah. But, but I'm fine with that. Let's, okay, matches. Kits always play with matches. Playing with matches is almost as dangerous as running with scissors. So I'll Hopefully do it! We don't have anything as useful as scissors no? in our house. And you're also not going to take the matches. Okay, fine, fine. Oh, soot. She's a child. She can't be no. She's a very well-behaved child. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that sort of, that's oh, not necessarily a running theme. That changes depending on what the puzzle the requires. The so these are all, um, these are all Kickstarter backers here as well. Oh. So you won't, you won't find, um, you won't find any clues in here, but these are all kind of one of the <laughs> rewards. Uh, <laughs> You can click. You can click on each one, and it'll kind of say something. Oh, um, depending on I just so had whatever. Yeah. Rubber chicken somewhere. My friend Indy. Although I'm. Ah, oh, this is nice. I like this. It's not intrusive. Well, that is a bit intrusive. But other than yeah, that, that, it's not intrusive. Little behind. So, so yeah. So okay, when so everyone kind of was able to kind of 
know, gave me the opportunity to, to say like what sort of thing, you know, sort of message or something would you want mm. to know. It's a lovely context, trip down want. memory lane. And I also like, the, is he reading gun magazines? Is dad reading gun, gun magazine? magazine. I like the way you assume it's dad reading gun magazine. Moisturizing camouflage. Oh, that's actually a good question. This issue. Moisturizing lip balm. Okay, I'll have that. Mm, smells like peaches. I'm having, I'm having that. Yeah, I'm having that. You 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 made you made you made special mention of something. I'm having it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> same same with the uh, eye that's just dangling off of uh, of a badger's head. I love the, I love the, I love the badger. The badger eye, the badger eye just is is just. You, there are, I think there, you end up carrying. I don't, again, I don't want to spoil it, but I think you end up carrying the badger eye for like almost the entire game. And, <laughs> uh, you, you, I think you can try and give it to most people, and there's there's some sort of. I think everyone just says no. <laughs> just, <laughs> well, no. Oh, it's the same with. <laughs> it's the same with broken sword, where you uh, you carry around this. Um, this tissue uh, full of grease paint, and you can show that to everyone, and they just go, why are you showing me this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, he's on top of the clock. There's a nursery rhyme in there somewhere. Um, but she can't reach. You can jump that high, my dear. Seriously, come on. I can't oh, reach see, him. That. She, no, she's on a, she's on a strain herself. Oh, that's, that's true. Uh, can we just open the clock? Oh, select it. Of course. The clock struck three, the oh. mouse ran down. Now Three o'clock. Well, dickery, that's, dickery. Not, that's not the rhyme. There is a nursery rhyme book in her bedroom if you want to, if you want to, a reference for it. Oh um, shit! I clicked out of the game. Didn't mean oh, to do that. that. Um, but originally, so the the clock worked differently up until quite close to launch. Actually, it was it, it used to be that you had to if you did you clock, she'd literally just move it one hour. Oh! If you, if you got it to the wrong hour at the wrong time, and you went, you had, you had to go all the way around the clock again. <laughs> and it was my my brother who was who was testing that, and he and he, he said, you know at the end of it at the end of the fantastic, he's like, okay, I, I really enjoyed the game. Really, you know, I, I really enjoyed. You know, there's like like, like you got to do something about that. Because like, like, that was really really <laughs> annoying. Really um, so I've changed it the so that you just do use clock, clock, and then you can just select which which time you want. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory. Oh one. Rodents have a really hard time in some of these. Yes, they do. Oh, so I just said it's a one o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry. And, and this is I have a I have a two year old, and we listen to nursery rhymes all the time. You'd think I'd know this. I didn't. Yeah, you haven't gone on like like on auto, but you, you, I'm really I like the amount of children's books that I like. I see on my 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 my, my son's shelf, now it and says I what I know I've read them all, but I don't know what's in any of them. Like, <laughs> I, like, the time when I read them, I'm he's just, gone back so through the hole again. There's something and... <laughs> away in my bedroom I could use to block Oh, Lucy! Ooh. Are you there getting a bit impatient with here's me? Here's a nudge in the right direction. <laughs> yeah. All right, back to the bedroom we go. We'll, we'll, we'll stop by the loo later. Ooh, luxurious carpets. It feels nice when I get in and out of bed. When you fall out of bed, screaming yeah. and panting, covered in yeah. your own sweat, I, I assume. Um... All right, we don't use pirate doll. It's, it's, it's got to be something obviously shaped, I would imagine. I don't quite see. Well, the well, the robot truck might actually do it. His head's a bit loose. I'll leave him there. No. Okay. Fine. Did she? Did she I can't remember. Did, did she say something in my bedroom, or did she say something locked away in my bedroom? Well, I think you just gave me a hint then. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't want. I, I didn't want to think that, but I think that's what she said. Cause I think I need. At that point, I'm thinking if you've not, if you like, you need. You probably do need a bit of a steer at this point. All right, we've. Um, but, well, she did say in my bedroom, but as soon as you look at the top drawer, she goes, "Hey, wait, we can, uh, we can do that." Um, okay, so the Venus flytrap obviously aided, so. Nah, this this isn't it. I don't even know what that does. Does it do anything? Better not draw on it. Uh, okay. Right, so we gotta make him sick. What's the best way to make it? Well, we could give him a fly, obviously. Or we could just shove threat down his throat. How would he catch flies if I did that? Terribly, is the answer. Well, <laughs> obviously. If you, if, you, if you try and look at him or... 
Okay, come on, give me Venus eye trap. Yeah. Ooh, there was honestly there were puns. <laughs> there puns. Were so many like <laughs> like things like that that I've put fun. in like Looks custom responses for that I don't even remember. Out. And then I see people playing and they go, Oh, I'm gonna try using the bog brush on you know the finger off if I try you know, the that. fan or something like that. Yeah, and I'll I'll, I'll I'll have written I something, on. but I I'm, I can't remember what it is. Yeah, I don't think you can use the bog brush with the fan, like with the fan, but I mean I'd be able to. I don't <laughs> let's let's give it a I, shot. I, I first... there, like, when I'm making it, I'm just like just constantly just writing stuff, and it, and and I I, I don't even. be a riot. I don't remember half of it. Okay, bog brush first, but uh, obviously I got the hint that we're supposed to make him laugh. All right, go on. What can you I use don't the want to make a mess. Oh, you don't oh, want to. Not... <laughs> which which just sets the imagination going. Really, what is she gonna do with a bog brush and a, a fly trap? <laughs> <laughs> just gonna okay. splatter his. Yeah, so exactly. What exactly? What are you? What are you hoping would happen Why at that point? Carnivorous plants like wearing trousers. Oh, I want it. Flies keep getting stuck. He loves these. <laughs> I don't know if any. I don't know if any of these. I'm guessing some of these jokes will probably have already been written. In the I, I, as far as I'm concerned, I wrote. I wrote all of the. I didn't. These aren't ones I've looked up online. They are, but they probably. They like. I'm. I'm not gonna claim exclusivity on them because okay. like some of them are you know <laughs> but you can you can you can you can you can keep reading the jokes if you there's a roll of duct to. tape in here <laughs> i love that it says duct tape and not duct tape so there's yeah well du there's two different so you there's duct tape and then there's it's duct tape, tape which is like a brand ducks together oh this is so, we're, we're back to to the um <laughs> legal gray area <laughs> <laughs> well, we've also, the thing is, we've like so I put that in there, and I, I thought, you know what? When I when I kind of did that, I because of that, I the, that that sort of that non-descript, non-IP infringing um, pirate island yeah. is one that I, I so I've drawn that sort of pixel by pixel rather than it's not like I've scaled the thing that you know. So it is yeah. slightly different to one that you might recognise. Oh also, no. So, I have no idea what it's referring to. Obviously, it, no, it must no, be no. one of those one of one of those like tiny little indie games that no one's ever yeah, played. No one's heard of. Um, but it's um, but like right, it was a wrong. It was, it was quite nice. A wrong Gilbert has, has, has Who? apparently apparently bought a copy of Lucy Dreamy. He posted a tweet saying like yes. I, I, I bought it, and you know he posted before okay. saying it was on his wish list and stuff. So like, brilliant. But also, and there they're going. Shit! I've put loads of stuff from like. Your franchise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. I think he's used to it by now. I think, yeah, to be fair, I think he's. I think every indie point and click adventure game has done some reference to Monkey Island. Uh, wait, I think, what? What was that? Sorry, I didn't catch that. It might be better to block it up from the other side. I did that. You did, yeah. So you blocked it up, and what if you what if you tried to use the? What did you do? Okay, here goes. He just buggers mm. off. Maybe I need to take the tape, the tape off, off the other side. Oh, wait, what? Why? So you can't go through the hole if the tape is blocked up. Well, no. Oh, oh, I see. I see where we're going. I see where we're going. Out goes gerbil. Gerbil goes on clock. Nursery rhyme happens. Um, gerbil goes into a panic. Off you scoot. Someone else mentioned they the, recognise the UK electrical socket. There is a, if you try and, actually you'll, you'll come back to this later, if you try and use any of the electrical sockets, she actually has, like, she comments on the fact that, like, that they've got switches on. Because it was something that came back in, after people played the demo, that, um, hang on, let me jump Psst, are you reading the chat? They have switches and shutters. Yes, hi, I am reading the chat. Sorry. Right. Uh, yeah, so they, so in the UK, the like the, the main sockets outlets have little switches, on, so you can turn them off on and off, um, and that's just kind of universal. The idea of having having one that you can plug in that doesn't have a switch on it just seems really unsafe in the UK because we're so used to that. <laughs> but when people are playing um, the demo, obviously a lot of a lot, you know a lot of countries in Europe and the US, just, you know, you just you just plug plug something in and pull it out again. There's no got no kind of switch on there. So one of the puzzles involved kind of turning it on and off. You can see the little switches on the, on the socket there. Yeah. Um, and so in the in in the games, I think if you do use socket or look well, at socket or something. Into it. Fun it, fact. It, oh yeah, here we go. In Britain, our sockets have switches on them to turn appliances on and off. You know, 
in case you were wondering. Because <laughs> at some point, you like you in one point of the game, you get you do need to turn a, a socket off in order to unplug something. Yeah, because safety first. Well, we um, have the same in Denmark. I, it's it's amazing they don't actually. I, I've never actually considered that that they don't have no, that. No, neither had I until people played the demo and just went. It, you know, I got stuck for ages on that because I I didn't know you could turn it off at the socket. And like. Oh yeah, I suppose, yeah, okay. Oh. So I've had to put this in there as a kind of like, Gosh. A cultural thing, you know, just in case you're like, playing from one of those countries that, you know, doesn't care about electrifying small children. <laughs> um, Which happens. Uh, you know, so, now you know. South Africa has one, Australia has one. Uh, um, hello, Pixie, by the way. Uh, by the way, I was so busy looking at the chat and being, uh, um, uh, disappointed in myself for not uh, commenting on what's going on in the chat that I didn't actually see where the gerbil went. Oh, the gerbil, uh, sorry, the gerbil went inside her Wellington boot. Oh, okay. Come out. Finally, got the little bugger. Ah. Alright. Hand over the teddy bear and your life will be spared. So I will use angry gerbil in boot. Okay. I have your gerbil right here. Yeah. Norway doesn't, but we have safety sockets with child-proof coverings. So it's like the uh, the switch in NORAD where you have to lift a little socket thing and a little cover to press the button. Sorry, what was that? You don't like the gerbil? I have your gerbil. Yeah, right. How am I supposed to get it back into your room if you? Oh. You are just being obtuse, you little twat. All right. Strange light. I dread to think what's causing that. Um, I was uh, originally there was there was going to be a bit where you could a uh, hole, but we could go inside. Lloyd, you broke into Lloyd's room later on, it's and there was like shot. I think there was like a, a giant kind of neon sign saying like <laughs> Brittany or something like. I was I can't remember what it was, but I had this kind of like I had this sort of idea, and then eventually I, I mean there were so many Ooh, ideas. It's under there that I had at the start that just haven't, that have either evolved and turned into something else or have been cut mm. out or a new things have been put in and, and it's chopped and changed so much that there's, it's like weird really looking like, oh yeah, I remember was, there was a whole thing about the, the kind of the glowing light. And then, but I've sort of left it in there because no, it doesn't do any harm. No, it's, it's, it just adds to the mystique. Now, yeah, exactly. now, see, now I really have to think because picture of Lloyd, he's completely absent. He didn't want to sit still. Oh, he was. When this was taken, I am sure there's going to be a hole in the wall somewhere. What on earth is this stuff? Ectoplasm. All right, I'm going to start picking up photos. It's attached to the wall. It's screwed to the wall. Right. Okay. So now it's time for the brain meats. First of all, we tie the thread to the gerbil. Oh, he 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 squeaked. He squeaked at me. Uh, you try, to, you try to tie him up. <laughs> Chenka says in Norway, if you if you if you uh, operate an electrical socket incorrectly, you'll be ejected through the roof instead of turning off the power. <laughs> I think that's fair. That's that. I mean, that's 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 it's a good way. Yeah, if, you, if you're that kind of person, that's you know, you get what you deserve. I mean, it's the same with uh, with spiders in Australia. Uh, basically, you only get one shot at this. If you if you mess up the don't touch spiders thing in Australia, you get what you get. And the same yeah, with electrical there, sockets was, in Norway. There was a, a, a like a trivia question. It was like I can't remember. It was on, on some thing like, which was like why why was Peppa Pig banned in Australia? In. Like, and it was because there was a whole episode about being friendly to spiders. Yes. It's like you can't do that here. Yeah. <laughs> You'll die. That's it. That's exactly. It. That's one of my favorite. I, first of all, I, I, I being upfront and honest, I love Peppa Pig. I absolutely adore it uh, because it is. It's so smart. It's it's got so many funny running jokes. Like there's one rabbit who runs the entire town, <laughs> and and apparently their uh, their uh, their uh, school teacher, uh, their their playgroup teacher is a vampire because she doesn't okay. have a reflection. <laughs> and the narrator just goes, "Oh, that's weird." And then it's, and then the episode <laughs> just moves on. <laughs> But yeah, there is one episode where uh, Mr. Skinny Legs shows up and everyone's really nice to him and, and all the Australians just went, that's not how that works down here. Yeah, no, Mr. 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 Skinny Legs dies in our, in our episode. Yes. It's like it's a, the heel of a boot very quickly. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Skinny Legs uh, can go to hell. <laughs> oh, plasters, cotton buds, shemp. 
We could have used the cotton buds to stuff up the hole as well, couldn't we? No, no, we couldn't. Nope. Screaming penguin. Oh, you can never have too many screaming penguins. Need to blow any bubbles. So the, yeah, there were th there were th there seemed to be a fixture in a lot of uh, kind of UK bathrooms. Anyone anyone who's got small children, they use these kind of candles. like a bubble blowing. Um, thing. It's got like I think it's got batteries in it. Like it's got these kind of like it, it spins really around and blows mood. bubbles and all that. Like I, we we've never had one, but like so many um, households that we've been to with small children, like every time you go Ooh, to their bathroom, it's like oh, it's another one of those penguins. <laughs> We just have a battery-powered uh, uh, baby shark that's gone off, so now it just makes this weird rumbling, rattling noise when it tries to swim around. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> uh, apologies, just noticed Tom's t-shirt. Uh, is that merch or a one-off? It is merch. It's merch. Plug your merch. Let's go. There we are. Where, can one, where can one get one? It's it very nice. Uh, there's a, there's a, we've got a red bubble uh shop which we set up because I, mainly because i i was doing a uh, a couple of shows and i needed some i needed a t-shirt so i, I just uploaded the artwork and i bought the so i've got a couple that i'm going to adventure x uh in, oh, in a couple of weeks yes um so if you see me if anyone else is going to be there um and and so if you if you see me i'll be the one wearing a this I think I might wash it between now and then, but obviously <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be the very smelly guy with a t-shirt that's not being washed. Um, and uh, yeah, so but you can buy them on that. There's also I keep having to keep on top of the fact the that people keep stealing the artwork and then setting up their own red bubble shops, and I have to keep reporting them in order. To oh, that happens like, Stop all the time. Stealing my pictures. That is. Um, oh, that happens but, all yeah. the time. It's so thieves. Stop it. Thieves, Stop indeed. Thieves. Stop, stop stealing stuff. I can't see what he's up to. Okay, so either... I, I have a skull lamp. Okay, so I have to get a gerbil inside this room somehow. Hmm, if you... Uh, yeah, you, if you look through his keyhole again, there might be another... Sort of another way in. Well, I can't shove him through the key... Oh, there's a broken pane in the window. He's right. Defenestrating. Yes. I tried opening this window and couldn't. It's nailed shut, so we'll try and find yeah. another window. I think it's probably safer to leave it closed. No, no, no. See, you're not operating on my level, my dear. Um... I think that's probably a good thing. <laughs> probably, yes. <laughs> now that you mention <laughs> it. Uh, for a young girl, I think that's probably safer. <laughs> Do I just shove the gerbil through the window? That can't possibly be it. I'm gonna go. That won't help me get him back to Lloyd. Uh, well, I was gonna tie a string to him and just sort of dangle him off to the side of the window, but again, that's a little hmm, 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 thinky, oh, thinky, that, thinky. Windows traditionally do have two sides. Yes, they do. They kind of have an inside and an outside. Do I actually? Oh, well, there are locations in this game I have yet to visit. Pajamas. And I can't go in the kitchen, and there's no door there. Do I need to put on clothes? Is that is it that easy? Garage or garage, however you want to say that. Ladder. Really? Can you fit a whole ladder in your pajamas? It's not the portable no, kind. Portable nope, she's no Roger Wilco. Got it. It's got a badge on it from an Easter egg hunt, but I'm hoping to collect a few more badges. Badges run with badger, so oh, gerbil is almost a badger. It's all muddy inside. Damn it! Thought I was onto you. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I, I've not seen that. That I that it's it make it all muddy inside. I've not seen that. I've not seen anyone do that. So I've not. I forgot that there was a response for that. So, <laughs> right. Oh, so okay. That's that's a fairly legit. Yeah. Don't don't put it in. Yeah. Don't put it in the rucksack. I'm well, not if... putting on my shoes and underwear until I have some clothes to wear. All right, all right, fine, fine. Oh, oh, oh you can never have too many pliers, by the way. Let's have some pliers. Yeah, and rope as well. Dad Noose. Need a length of rope. What is mom and dad doing? Well, if you if you if you uh, if you play the demo, there's um there's a there's a a, a bit in the demo where um Lloyd, her brother, has essentially strung up your teddy bear like and it's hanging from the ceiling. Oh, goodness. 
Oh, hang on. Chat's doing something. Hey, Dan. Uh, hamster sweater. What's in the washer? Oh, let's see if there's a Day of the Tentacle reference in here. My clothes are spinning around in there. Oh, there's your clothes. I thought they were in there in your bedroom. Well, that's a good thing. Uh, can we stop this, please? I can't open the door while it's still switched on. We'll unplug the thing. Oh, you know, in Britain, they have these <laughs> switches on the... There you go. Yeah, they have switches on the front of it. The parents just sit all night watching the news. <laughs> well, question okay. is if it's... Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty wet. Lint drawer, let's just open that up. Okay. There's a lovely plump lint bunny in here. I'm gonna assume this is a washer dryer thing. It's empty now. If it's got a lint drawer. True, okay. you would have seen that. You do get you do get a lint does he get a lint drawer in washers? Well, I don't know. I did think I did get, you get manky build up, don't you? I would have so I think I think I think I, I think just just try using the washing with it. I think it's she not says a it's not, it's a, spin not a, find another way to dry them out. It's just got it's just a, it's just but it has got a lint drawer. Yeah. Yeah, okay, maybe yeah, maybe there's a bit of a hole in them. We <laughs> found a plot hole. No, actually I yeah. think you might be right. I oh mean, god, the whole thing's gonna fall apart! Oh god! Okay, no, logic, no, logic. Uh, uh, pull, pull the release! Pull the release! Stop everything! <laughs> Some someone type cyborg in the chat. <laughs> this is like this is as good a time as any. Um Good morning, uh Summer. Uh no, we did not see the pain train yet. Uh I did sort of um uh, sort of tease that on the on, on the SQS Discord. I didn't make a big fuss about it. I just uh, you you saw that. I posted a little screenshot of the. There we go. Oh, that, that's nice. Look at him. That's the plot hole cyborg. <laughs> well, he is now the plot hole cyborg. He don't worry. He has a cooldown timer of about ten minutes, so you can't just okay, cool. you can't spam it. Right, get as much of the game done as you can. <laughs> yes, before he shows up again. Okay, okay, okay. Dry. Okay, I'm running in circles. Let's dry this stuff. Uh, well, nope. This is where you make stuff wet. Let's see if there's something obvious. Uh, I mean, uh, other than just lighting a fire. No, put it in the rock sack. Make the rock sack all wet. Ooh. Isn't that the bedroom? Oh, sorry to hear you're ill, Summer. Get well oh, soon. Hmm. Um, oh, hang on. You know? There's a fan. Okay. It's a very, very slow... Oh, community challenge complete! Dan Nasty contributed a thousand to the Reach Chapter One. Oh, good. Well, that's uh, terrifying. Okay, so uh, just a, a quick, quick, quick derail. Uh, what we do is uh, I set up some community challenges. I have no idea how these works. I'm, I'm, you'd, you'd think I'd know how Twitch works by now, but I don't. But I set up this community challenge. What I have on my shelf over there is the infamous infamously stupid and insane uh, Space Quest Companion, which is a fan fiction. It says it's official, but it really is just a fan fiction retelling of the Space Quest games, and it is absolutely batshit insane. So what, the community challenges I've set up is that I'm going to read them aloud. Not now, obviously. We're going to wait till Friday. Uh, but that means apparently on Friday we will um, be reading chapter one of uh, the Space Quest Companion. So thank you, Dan. Fifty Shades of... You, you have no idea how this starts. Changas, it is good lord. So Peter Spears wrote this with his teenage, at the time, teenage son, Jeremy, and just the first couple of paragraphs is very obvious the teenage son wrote this. Although Peter Spears also wrote a guide to cybersex in the 90s. So it basically, basically it's just a weird family. Anyway, let's uh, dry some washing with the fan here. Using a fan is a great idea. Cheers! Unfortunately, this one doesn't have the required I, I had no, I had no idea I'd written that. I was when you were there going. I'm going to use the fan with I mean, with the washing with the fan. I'm there thinking, God, I hope I wrote a good <laughs> response for that rather than that doesn't work because otherwise, like that needs a clue. Uh, I don't I don't ever remember mentioning talk. Torque is a very good word though. Oh, it's a good word, isn't it? Oh, here's here's the thing. By the way, uh, the uh, um, the community. I'll, I'll get off the community challenges in a bit. Uh, the community challenges. Uh, someone says the goal was way too low. It was at a thousand, and Pickle Doc says he's got like sixty thousand channel points because I've been I've been streaming forever, but I've never used these for anyone. So I should probably set Next, chapter yeah, two a bit higher. higher. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, so I'm sort of on the right track. I need a fan of some description or other. Um, with some level of torque, apparently. With some level of torque. Uh, the Screaming Penguin? I don't, I don't know how much torque they've got. I can't remember. All right. Now that's that's a bit of a stretch. It's It, it blows bubbles. It does. Well, actually, there's a towel. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see if... See what that does. This towel's wet. Ah! Probably because the towel rail doesn't actually work. Looks like I might have to spin dry them somehow. Oh, 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 hints, hints for days. How does the towel yeah, rail... Exactly. You know what? I'm, they're, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with myself. Because I don't... I don't. I honestly... I, I don't know... Like, I... I, I it, it's... None of this has been carefully planned, so I, I don't... <laughs> all the kind of... All these sort of clues of being kind of retrofitted at the end when people have tested it go well i tried this and i tried that and i tried that and it i needed a it, you need to kind of funnel people down the right path yeah i think you did um, very oh I don't, I don't, oh here we go ah oh awesome. here oh. we go <laughs> nah oh come on you I know mean, you want to yeah this seems like yeah. a really good idea there we go oh you, you hang them from the okay i'm sorry i see where you're going and now we use ceiling fan. Boy, that is a lot of torque. If you if you look at the ceiling fan, it'll give you a, a bit of a, a clear as well. Oh, we need got two speeds. Slow, slow and, and mental. mental. <laughs> well, let's set it up to mental. There we go. Now that's yeah, torque. That's probably enough. Excellent. Hey, that actually worked. Physics. They're there you go. Dry. Physics for days. It's contemplat. <laughs> Thank you for the Spaceballs reference. Oh my god, Summer has 74,000 channel points. Well, it's a good thing I didn't launch the other community challenges yet, so I still have time to go in and edit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 150,000 points needs to be reached. <laughs> Clear everyone out. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now we can we go, go outside. Here we go. Here we go. Now you can, now you can try and... There we are. But this this would be an excellent time to get the ladder out from the uh, 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 from the garage. Do you it say? Would, but it's, it's still it's still not the portable kind. Still not the portable. It's well, locked. You, you can you can drag it surely. Oh, wheelie bin. Come here, Mister Wheelie Bin. Not bin day today. Don't be daft. I am not rooting around in there. It, it's it, it's it on wheels. It probably still wouldn't be tall enough. All looking right. at it. I'm, I'm looking there thinking, yeah, that is a logical That's solution. I think actually, yeah, you know, it probably would be. Yeah. But you know what? Yep. We'll we'll do the obvious thing. We'll uh we'll climb up the oh broken bit of pipe. That probably oh. happened when Mum was harpooning. What are these people doing? Down there is going to go straight into Lloyd's room. Ooh. We shall ascend to the roof. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We shall ascend to the roof somehow. The rainwater. It's going to be busy soon. Can we? Oh, she's not a shimmier. Can we walk around? Oh, I got. I got to listen to this in the ad lib mode. Hang on. Is he pressing M? Yeah, I got it. Oh, that's so. Oh, this has this has a lot of um, uh, non-infringing Monkey Island vibe to it. <laughs> Is there, I think there's a limited number of instruments you can kind of choose from so <laughs> yeah yeah uh, yeah adlibus uh oh pixie says it's nice to have a british adventure game not that britain isn't known for adventure games i mean <clears throat> revolution software or anything i know but like but like like the protagonist isn't british though is it so he's like he's i still i mean oh, i that's still right. love uh, like um charlotte gore's games as well oh. so like, uh, Yorkshire Gubbins and yes. uh, I mean they're just they're, I, she's a genius. I just I, yes. I, 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 I honestly I when I was watching when I was playing through Plague Babies, uh, which is a, a game jam I think she did uh, in 2020. I I, I I got to some points where I could almost couldn't breathe because I was laughing so much. I, honestly, I just they're just it, I, yes. I, I love that stuff so much. It's that is so absolutely true. She is effort. She's one of those people who are effortlessly funny. Like, oh yeah. Just, 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 yeah, just, 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 yeah, her brain just, is just, it's just genius, isn't that, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's interesting what you said, that most of the Revolution Software games actually have an American protagonist, or at least an American accented protagonist. Mm. That's actually yeah. interesting. Uh, uh, Rolf Saxon, so he's, 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 he's American, isn't he? But I know he yeah. does a lot of, 
British. I don't know if he's. If, I, don't I don't know if he's. Britain, if he was like a British president. I know he did a lot of stuff in like for like Little Britain and other like um, British comedy shows. I think he's been involved in that scene um, for a while. But I think he is. A, I think he is an American. Yeah, but I think he also. I think he lives in Britain. Yeah. This is this. Okay. How do I ascend to roof? Uh, must ascend to. You, you might not have to. Have a, have a look at the um. The, if you, the other the other thing I'll say is if you look at stuff you're carrying, you a lot of use it in quite a often minutes, gives you a bit of a bit of a, another kind of clue as well. So if you have a look at the gerbil. Ooh oh, shall I like salmon? You, it might give you a bit of a. Oh, he's a good climber. So we get because you obviously climbed up the clock. So we're gonna get to go. Oh, okay, there's, there's far up this one. Not gonna get far up that one. Oh well, well we we'll just stick him up the other drain pipe and he'll just uh run along and fall down this one. I hate to do this, but I need to get my bear back. Up you scoot me old son. <laughs> what the f <laughs> more are you? Well, I won't be needing this piece of crap anymore. I oh, he rolls the R's as well, they are. Oh, Mr. Fumble, come to mama. Come to Whoa! Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do, like mind melding with like? Oh no! <laughs> this is this, ha this happened when I was playing Sam and Max as well. It's been ages and ages since I played it, and I and I kept making like little quips, and then the characters would say them, and I went, "Oh, that's where I got that from." <laughs> oh, we definitely need some stuffing in our flaccid bear. Just needs one more bit of stuffing. I don't see any more lying around. Yep. I guess I'll have to find something else to stuff him with. How about the lint? That's a nice plump bear. Now, I just need to get him sewn up. Okay, we'll use some thread. I'll need a needle if I'm going to sew him up. I'm on it. Chalk outline. <laughs> it's amazing. It's the chalk outline of Lloyd's hamster. I love the fact that when you play Police Quest 4, you actually pick up a bit of chalk and the first scene is, is, a, is a murder scene. And you go in and you, you draw the outline and then the narrator goes, Police... Police procedure actually doesn't involve that. We don't actually do that. I said, why, why the hell did you make me do it then? <laughs> okay, needle. needle. No, it's like we, 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 did the anima we did the animation, and then we got the police consultant in at the end. And then we're, like, <laughs> we're, not, we're not scratching that, because we spent ages on that. So yeah, we, we, we already got the video in. capture in. Let's just, uh, yeah. let's just roll with it. Needle, 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 needle. I'm going to assume that there's a needle in the bathroom. Ooh, I didn't have to click use. Okay, painkillers, face wash, dental, something, plasters. Yeah, you, know, you, can, you can double click on a, uh, on a on a door to kind of go there instantly, go to the next scene instantly. <laughs> what? what? What the fuck? <laughs> I can't believe it's not body butter. <laughs> oh, that's... I, I, I'm honestly not entirely sure what to make of that. Uh, razor! That's a bit harsh. Looking for... Wait, we've got two mirrors? Looking good. Oh, yeah. Looking for some sewing stuff. You always keep sewing stuff in bathrooms for reasons I'm not entirely clear on. Oh, oh, All right, I'll have you a look at everything. never put these in your ears, which makes cleaning your ears with them particularly difficult. I always wondered what they're actually for, then. I got through a lot of these when I first got Clive. Mm, I know. Well, they're for cleaning your ears, aren't they? But you just, it's like, now it's like, we well, can't do that with it. This so I'm not, sweet is the only them. bright side to having yeah. a cold. Dental. Cleaning Flavored bits of wire. small toys and stuff like I love this line. Mint flavoured garrote wire. <laughs> that, is, that is good. I yeah, it's like, I'm a bit... Stuck in uh, <laughs> my dad has them for his migraines. I, magic cream. Creamy wizardry for cuts and grazes. If adults are to be believed, so, taking a that's a UK. Uh, that's a UK thing. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if other cultures have this as well. So there's a there's a any, there's a, a a product in the UK which is called Savlon. It'll exist in 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 like every in in, in like all Western culture, but it's a, it's a basically it's like a, a um, no an antiseptic cream. Yeah, it's like an all-purpose. Like you've cut yourself, just put it on. It just stops it stops it going nasty. Um, but in the UK, for generations, it's been known as magic cream. Like parents and teachers, they would, they would call it, oh, we'll put some magic cream on it. And it's just, that's, 
it doesn't matter where you are in the UK, it doesn't matter how old you are, you know what Magic Cream is. Magic Cream is Savlon. That's amazing. I've never, uh, I don't think we have any of that. What we do is we just put plaster on it or Band-Aid on it and and, and then yeah, and then no, we tell it's everyone, like, it's, that's it's, fine. It's a, it's a little, little kind of cream you put on and then you put a plaster on over the top of it and it's like a, an antiseptic. But it's also, it's it, it comes with a, with a huge caveat, which, which is that you must never put it on a burn. This one's jam Apparently, shit. like, it's like that's if you cut yourself jam. or you graze and your knee or something, then it's like you, you slap it on you, as much of it as you can put on. Um, and it will heal you instantly. Um, but if you've got a burn, apparently if you put it on there, like you, like you, you know, your whole arm will just rot away or something. Oh, like good. Like, you're, you're, yeah. you're, you're warning, you're given as a child, is it doesn't go on, doesn't go on burns, only on cuts. Oh, that's a... Uh... <laughs> it's, it's oil-based. I'm guessing that's it. Like, you, like putting oil-based stuff on a burn is, is generally considered to be a bad idea. Yeah. See, I, I would imagine the caveat would be that it's not actually magic. But uh, evidently, we're I not, mean, we're not quite there. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know if anyone's if anyone's actually kind of lab tested how how magical it, it genuinely is. It might it might actually have magical properties. I don't know. It could. Okay, needle needle. So assume. the whole. Um, I would say maybe head downstairs. Maybe a downstairs thing. I clicked out of the game again. I didn't mean I'll, to do I'll that. Just give up, are you? Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, are you are you taking small suggestions for tiny improvements? Oh, go on. Uh, maybe lock the mouse inside the window because I'm able to click out of the game, and when I click out of the game, it. Uh... That's only yeah. That's if you only if you've got multiple monitors. Yeah, I think it does that. I I don't think that's anything I can do in in the end. I just don't think it's anything I've got control of in the engine. Hmm. Um, so you got, you'd have to. I think you'd have to install a separate bit of software. For, like, I've, always, I've always had to install a separate bit of software for that. Oh right. So yeah. When I've been at like conventions and things like that, I, to, I know it's really, it's 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 really annoying, especially when you if you're kind of going along a long long scene, you you, you basically just stick your mouse right to the end, don't you? Yeah, um, that, I always do that. I always uh, stick it down the uh, uh, will, side. Of... You know what? I will. I will make a note. Have a chat with the um, the engine. Devs about that and see if there is, see if there is a, a solution for it. I'm not, I'm, to be honest, I'm not even considered the fact that they might be able to. There's a uh, suggestion in the in the uh, uh, chat from Pickle Doc to make it uh, a toggle, like Control M, because in Scum VM you can either lock the mouse or not lock the mouse. And DOSBox, oh. it's it's something obscure like Control F10 or something. But Control M, so everyone who's used to Scum VM, you can just either lock the mouse or don't lock the mouse. That would be great. The crab asked what engine this is on. It's Visionaire. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure it is. Which is, which is, it's, 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 it's a, it's, it's, it's a, a really fun engine to. I, I really enjoy using it. It's um, it supports loads of different ports. No idea what's so in. all, all the kind of consoles um, are supported. Mobile platforms are supported. It's my um, re- with, you know, That's a dirty you've joke. Of, if you've got a bit of knowledge um, of kind of how to set up, you know, apps in the app store and things like that. It's, it's relatively easy to do so. Hmm? Um, but it does. It, the, there are a couple of ports which are works in progress. So the Linux port color. has a couple of. I think there's an issue with it. There's an issue with the audio at the moment, and there's an issue with the Mac They're port on some color. of the latest Macs, which have the uh, Apple Silicon in them, um, which is where the it has, a, it has a, an issue with the mouse, and that's what we're us and um, Inkling were to producing foolish mortals are currently. Look, both looking into it's trying to try and work out how to get around right? so, I don't need to. Other than that, anything. it's really, it's a really good engine. It's really, yeah. It's, I, 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 Not I without really a enjoy tetanus it. shot. Uh, Paradigm is made in the uh, in Visionaire as well, and uh, it was, and most of the Dedalic. Um, oh, Dedalic, yeah, yeah. The Dalek, uh, Dalek, da- they're German. Deponia, I think they're all the Deponia series. I think they're all made in Vision Yep. Okay, thread, needle. I'm. There's nothing. Uh, I would say. Rusty go nails. It's close. Go and check out some of the some of the wildlife in the rest of the downstairs as well. Oh. oh. Mum's prize salmon. I also love the. Got the winning hook in its mouth. But there were. I can't get a proper hold of it with my fingers. All right, well, I've got that sorted. Come here, you little... Sit. There you go. All right, there are plenty of hooks in the uh, in the garage, but I, I assume they're too 
the, the large. The, yeah, the, yeah, they were they're, they're kind of like coat up things from. It's not straight enough to use for sewing. Ah, well, our brother has a vice, so let's go and have some. He does. Yeah. Let's go and see if he'll corroborate for once. I don't need to look in there anymore. Oh, there's <laughs> the uh, the mod, uh, the auto mod in in chat just. Uh, uh, quietly censored the crab saying that uh, his German was shit. Uh, I, I'm gonna let that one slide. Hang on. Lloyd. Lloyd, you little turd. Okay. You're done with, you're done with Lloyd. Not, I, uh, no, evidently not. Okay, no vice for us. What else you can might have, you, might, you might have? You might have all you need to, to be able to straighten it, though. What do I just use the pliers on it again? No, yeah. What it, there, were, there were a couple of there were a couple of items which have a couple of uses. I think there's one item Something which maybe has three uses, um, but it's I, I tried to avoid it too much. Because I think like it does, you do kind of go, oh really? Okay. <laughs> some people some people will just go, oh well, I'll just use the pliers then. Um, whereas others you kind of go, well I've already used the pliers for something else. So like you, you don't usually expect to use the same item twice in a row for two slightly different things. <laughs> I've. I've added a permitted term. German is too shit. Well, thanks, Twitch. Um, okay, so we need a suitable box. There's a small box and a large box. I think I'll have the small box. This looks like a good size for my dream box. There we go. Now to decorate it with camouflage lip balm. There we go. Some nice relaxing rooms. Sorry, oh, sorry, there's no, uh, no pen pen oh, oh, nice, uh, nice it's Cthulhu. Powerful rooms. Yeah. <laughs> We add our little Good bear. Plan, but I need to find a suitable place for the box first. I'm on it, sister. What's the box of maggots? Well, that's a good question. Let's have a look. <laughs> I would assume it's for fishing. Wriggly. Can we have them? Always wanted them. need to go fishing. Uh, at least they're for fishing. So we... I think in the, in the demo, she used to say, she said, like, um, I don't need to go fishing or dispose of a corpse today. So, like, other people, but then other people would, like, loads of people go, oh, so we have to dispose of a corpse later then. They're like, oh, okay. Is it always ended up being like, yeah. and then, then people are like, wandering around going, I need to find a corpse. It's like, no, 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 forget about that. That no, was a joke. Forget, forget about the corpse. <laughs> just, just put the it's corpse also, it's, down. So, it's so left field where you just go, oh, it's because people have played, played Fran Bo and, and all this sort of thing. Where it's, oh, it's so nice and cutesy. And then all of a sudden, blah, monsters. Yeah. All right, in you go. In you go, Mr. Fumble. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Serendipity. All right, let's head to Sleepsies. Oh, sorry, I forgot that step. Pick it up if I don't want it influencing me while I sleep. Hang on. One. Add Find inspiration to distract from negative Two. thoughts. Combat fear with laughter. Obviously, we add the joke book. Well, I suppose this counts as inspiration. Here we go. Fran Bow, nice and cutesy. To start off with, and then it gets all wibbly wobbly. Well, it's actually, it's it's yeah, you're right. It's it's pretty nasty. <laughs> I'll just dip my pajamas on. Some privacy, please. I wasn't looking. Okay, I'm all ready. Let's do this. All right, uh, I'll probably need to. I'm about to take a drink, but I'll probably need to act fast because my password is. Well, this is. Oh hi. Good. No, it's I thought I was going to fall again. I'd call a sweet dream, but I suppose it's a step in the right direction. I wonder if there's anything here that can help me with my nightmare. I seriously doubt it. <laughs> It's like, like a mix of, of Yogi Bear and a very depressed Barney the Dinosaur. I seriously yeah. doubt it. This might be a good a time as any to test out the Easter egg that you uh, put in. I'll, I'll have a quick I'd say save. It's, probably a good, it's a good time to test out the save games before you do that, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Save just, just, save. Just, just, in case, just, just in case it all goes horribly wrong. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a chance that might actually happen. Because... Um, to fill you lovely people in the chat in, uh, in preparation for this, um, <laughs> Tom actually went in and enabled something that he had previously disabled because it was just too horrible and garish for the and general I'm public. I'm just, no, no one would want it. No one would want it. <laughs> except, except for this guy right here. So how do I, how do I do this? Uh, you, you press, you hold down C, G and A and that'll toggle it. Perfect. <laughs> oh my Christ! Like that is, 
<laughs> well, it worked. Oh. Go, right, go on then. I mean, in theory, you can still see everything you need to be able to. Yeah. In the scene, I don't think anything like, anything that you, you, is hidden is is kind of. Here we go. Oh and this, my life. This is in the uh, current build of the game. Now, I can't promise, of course, that this won't be taken out again at some point. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not planning to take it out, but it, but like it's it's. I'm not going to publicize it because it's like you use with caution. It's not. Oh yeah. Uh, it, it, like it's like it may well break stuff. I don't. I, it, it probably shouldn't, but it m might. Comedy club rules. One. Minimum, Minimum six, six jokes. jokes per routine. Two. Mm. No fraternizing with the judges. Three. No jokes about weed killer. That's an oddly specific uh, rule, but okay. Well, broken rope, sandbag. Okay, fumbled. You're gonna have to fill me in on what's going on here. Uh, hi. Uh, hi. If you say so. Okay. You're real. Apparently. 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 You don't say much, do you? Look. I've literally got a splitting stomachache. Yeah. And I almost ended up having experimental surgery <clears throat> on my bear hood. <laughs> so forgive me if I don't feel like entering into a protracted chit-chat session with you. He's got Someone a point. Who spent most of their life squashing. They were hugs. Drooling on my fur. They were kisses. In my eyes. Okay, that one I can't defend. Oh, good point. <laughs> I'm sorry. For everything. It's okay. It's just not the best day to find yourself. <laughs> Summer says I could have voiced this character. I don't think I could have done a better job, because that is. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's okay. Is that the same guy who also voiced? Yeah, the uh, yeah, same guy who did Lloyd. Nice. Um, did, you read, did you read the note on the kitchen as well? I don't know if you, I don't know if I, was I chatting when you did it. So the, 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 there's a note on the kitchen door as well that says, don't go in. Yeah. Um, that's, yeah, that's all so I got from him. Lucy's dad, and he's done that. So, I mean, like, pretty much. Okay, that's just weird. With the exception of about three of the, the male head. characters, which I did, um, he's done all the others. Wow. Oh, so you're the dad? I'm not the dad. No, he's he's the dad. He's dad as well. He's um, I, I did it. I did a couple of others. In there. Around just a bit, just around, just short ones that didn't require an awful lot. Ooh! Mm, I'm not heavy enough to pull this down by myself. Can I just? Uh, I'll just quickly. Uh, um, this is something that Revolution Software does as well: is uh, meticulously animate people climbing ladders. Why would I go up there? Uh, like they actually step on the steps themselves. This is something I, I thought was really impressive about, uh, like beneath the steel sky and something. Um, most games, even like LucasArts games, just have characters just floating inexplicably up the staircase. They just, uh, but you actually animated there is a, there her. There's a ladder later on, which she's kind of, which is kind of front on, and she does sort of. I mean, her legs kind of move, but she does kind of slide up that one a little bit mm. because it's because it's also it's about this tall. Well, <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not animating that wrong by wrong. That one's <laughs> only like, was it eight, seven, seven, seven or eight steps? So it's fine. I'm getting covered in monkey sand. Can I? I don't have an inventory, so I can't really yeah. fix. Oh, oh, she's not heavy. She's not heavy enough to put it down by herself. No. If I carry a, a fire. carry a large fire extinguisher, Mr. Fumble, would you please cheer me up? Uh. I'm not heavy enough to pull the rope. Could you give it a go? Sure. A head trauma would go <laughs> great with this dash in my stomach. Well, he's a barrel of laughs, isn't he? Up you go. Oh. Okay, hang in there for a moment. I'm hanging. Uh, use break. There we go. Hi! I thought my regular dream was weird. Well, this is as good a time as any to, um... <laughs> Qu what, did you, what does this look like in CGA? Oh, good question. Horrifying. Oh, that's nice. I like, I like this. I like how, how mean he looks because there's like one little pixel line above his eyes. I can't, I can't my, my, my camera was covering up, so I can't, I can't see him, but I'll, 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 I'll just that. Oh, sorry. Um, good God. Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, hang on. I'll just. Uh... I can test it later anyway. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Terrible. Terrible yeah. of me. 
absolutely. Dan Nasty oh, redeemed. Oh, dance timeout. Oh, why did I put that in? All right, so if I go out of the game, I'm very sorry we have to do this. Well, apparently I've just enabled CGA forever now. Well, that's the thing. Now what you've done is you've saved over your one save, which didn't have CGA enabled. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. See what happens. It's broken forever now. No, it's, 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 it's it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so you can do it afterwards. Oh, that's that's very generous of you. I just want to. Um, so, so for this first redeem of uh, the dance timeout, this is something I put in at 3 a.m. when I was unable to sleep and I was trying to think of rewards. So uh, let me see if I can even find it. Uh, are you are you are you going to, are you going to dance? Uh, is that what happens now? No, I'm not uh, yet. I'm uh, not. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> I was. I, was I, didn't, actually, I didn't sign anything agreeing to that. I was, I, I was actually going to do a whole animation uh, of uh, of stuff. You know what? We'll we'll uh, like like uh, Dan says. We'll do this afterwards. Um, because I feel like I'm wasting everyone's time, including yours. <laughs> oh, it boots up in uh, in regular colors. Yeah, it does. It. I've not I've not added the CGA thing to the config, so it doesn't save it. But if you load it, it should it should. Oh, it did. Okay. Yeah, it did. Save, so it's, yeah. yeah, it did fine. Okay, well, uh, we'll do it in yeah, post. Yeah. Sure there's nothing horrible going on in the background that's going to break something later. <laughs> I honestly didn't honestly, think anyone honestly, would. The, sh the shaders uh, are like because I don't really understand shaders all that well, and it's so I, I've kind of cobbled night. it together. But it's, I, 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 I think all about. it's all working okay. But... <laughs> I have to say, I really love the graphics, and I love the uh, um, VGA dithering that's going on. So it's not just like uh, flat gradients and all that. It's got that nice, nice little uh, uh, like Autodesk animator uh, feel to it. Uh, yeah. What is this place? The trap. I've, I've never really done uh, pixel art stuff before before I started What's doing this. So it was it was all kind of, it was a bit of a learning. I mean, I'm a designer, so I like I know how to use. Photoshop. I've been using Photoshop for 25 years, so I know I kind of I know I know my way around it. But it, <laughs> I, but in terms of doing pixel art, it's, it's a that was a completely new a new thing. Ironically, same here. I've uh, I've been in in communications and done design work, uh, desktop publishing, web graphics, all that sort of stuff. I can do that, but I can't draw for shit. Uh, which so I ne I never put Illustrator on my resume because. That's promising too much. You don't want to be asked. No. I mean, I can I can vectorize a bitmap, but that's about it. That, yeah, that's basically. I, that's why I, I use I use Illustrator for turning other files around. Yeah. Or, like converting them into something else, like so put them in design or the Photoshop or whatever. Help you relearn things about yourself that you'd forgotten. Plus. But basically, all the animations in it, I, I, so I worked in um, advertising, doing online advertising. So hmm. flash animations, animated get gap banners like banner ads. Yeah, yeah. I thought I've done those as well. They can, they are a pain in the ass when you have to squeeze them down below. What is it, ten k? <laughs> well, I'm, yeah. My, well, I remember I happened to. You know, it was back in two thousand three, and I had to program a fully working um, Rubik's cube into an ad that had to be twelve k. And it had, to, but it had to be 3D, so it had to have 3D animation like of this Rubik's cube, and it also had to, it was for Hewlett Packard, and it had, also had to have all their fonts embedded in it, so, so that you could, all the text was in it. it. Had to have their logo and had to, and, all, and a picture of a computer that they were selling, and work it in 12K. That is, well, it, 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 we did it, but oh, you must have squeezed that down to like four colors or something. Like, did you actually? Maybe it was in Sign Magenta. But it was. It was. It was in. It was in Hewlett Packard's brand palette. Ah. Um, so it, it was blue. <laughs> Three. It was, it, was, it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Like, palette we have to use. But, but basically, because I've spent so much of my life yeah. making animated gifs and banners, that that's all the animations in this. I basically built exactly yeah. the same way. So they're built in a Preferably really old not. version of Photoshop, um, using the animation keyframe thing, and then rather than just exporting it as, a, as an animated GIF, I, I I export it as a PNG sequence, and then I can just import that straight into into Vision Air, and that's 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 my workflow for kind of all the, yeah. the animation. 
Oh, and here, here's the uh, short steps where she just sort of floats up. But you, you, yeah, okay. you don't notice that. That's because she, her, her walking speed is so fast. That doesn't, that doesn't count. I'm, okay. I'm letting that, I'm letting that one slide. It's what, yeah, and it's also you got to kind of. If I was going to animate that like frame by frame, I'd want to slow it down so that it was worth doing. Yeah, it would, it would almost be like a bit weird. She'd suddenly stop sliding around and just kind of. Like, is it, uh, like climbing a step ladder's fine because you sort of you get to the bottom of a ladder and you go. Huh, now I'm gonna climb a ladder, ladder and then you climb a ladder. That's fine, but like go like like that. It, I think it would just always feel a bit like. Yeah, it would. It would disrupt the flow. It suddenly started kind of animating really and then just started sliding about again. Juice, wasabi, black pepper, and my own digestive <laughs> enzymes. Whoa! It really wakes you up. First of all, this guy's got a hell of a voice. Second yeah, this, of all, this, this is me. This one. Really? Yeah, this one's me. You can do it. Wow. That, that must be hard on the throat after a, a few lines. It, 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 luckily, it's quite a short, it's quite sure. a short this roll. This one, so it's not. Don't drink it all at once. Thanks. Oh, nice. I'll okay. Just pick it up before someone else takes it. Don't drink it just yet. Thanks for the chat. This is what's going to bring us out of the dream sequence, obviously. Is what I'm assuming. They look obviously. Like a fun lot. All right. So we're just gonna give this a go. Tell some bad jokes. Okay then. Oh. Oh. Oh, we only have two jokes. Penny, penny drops. Penny drops. Yes. Oh, that's this is why you said keep reading the. Okay. All right. I, just, I, just, I mean, I you know, I'm not oh. here to tell you how to play games. Points just for turning up. All right. Six jokes minimum. Oh, you got one. You got I got one. one for just being there. Just going hello. Okay, All right. Here goes. There. There we go. Okay, let's read some more jokes. They're inside the box, that though. Tasted horrible. Also, doesn't she have school? When it's ready, all I need uh, to do is the, I think it's during the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Weekend or something. She does sleep a lot. Uh, She's homeschooled. She's homeschooled. Right. Oh, here's the. Uh, Wait, what? Oh, so when I pick up the box, the uh, objects fall yeah, out. So, yeah, okay. it picks up all, all the stuff in it. To find a suitable place for the box. Excuse me. Joke book. I'll just read Jeff some more jokes. I think if, you, uh, I'll say a thing. if you're carrying the joke book, uh, you can just talk to Jeff and he does the same thing. Right. Okay. That one's his favorite. <laughs> I missed. You can also, you can, use the, uh, you can use the mouse wheel to select your verbs. Ooh. You or you can use uh, A and D to cycle through them. Or uh, you can press L, P, T, and U to like yes. the news. So whichever, whichever you. I tend to use L, P, T, and U. That just that that for me just because I'm used to hotkeys in Photoshop and stuff. That's kind of what I'm yeah. Used to do. And you've also just made my friend Ikifu very happy. He has sort of a fetish for hotkeys, and you've just... Uh, oh, there are tons of hotkeys. You've just... <laughs> so like, if, you go, if you go into the settings, there's a whole thing that tells you what everything's kind of mapped so to. It hasn't got the CGA one in like, Well, in there, obviously. Right? Look at those tendrils go. Hey, I, I lost count. I think I'm up to four now. Here's a joke for you. What's a fly trap? Uh, she, I think she will say when it, when it gets to the last one. I'd better stop soon. He might uproot himself. <laughs> Here's a joke for you. Why do carnivorous plants... Oh, yeah. This one I want to hear. They're full of bugs. Oh, oh no. that, was that, was, that was it. That was, that was it. All right. Back to sleep we go. No, wait. <laughs> I, I could criticize. And I'm here just going, ah, shit. <laughs> 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 James are full of bugs. That's the problem. Well, all my games are. I had a I had a wonderful uh, uh, game that I put together where uh, you know there's a locked door in front of a hospital and you're supposed to talk to this dude and he's supposed to let you in but it was in a, a, a 3D sort of engine uh, at the place where I used to work and I forgot to put uh, blocking panes of glass in the door so you could just walk straight through the door and skip that entire puzzle. Not so much a bug as a, a <laughs> developer yeah, bug. Yeah, exactly. It's for people who people who try it. It's like it's a it's a bonus, isn't it? Yeah. Especially like speedrunners <coughs> yeah. will find and exploit anything like that to try and try and <laughs> cut and skip bits. I'm really looking forward to um to, to seeing how the how the speedrunners kind of cope with with this as well. Oh yeah, it's, speedrunning adventure games is such a it's, it's such a it's such a weird concept for me. But I love uh, um, one short eyes videos on how to speedrun uh, Sierra games. Uh, he, uh, uh, he's 
basically puts together like documentaries and how how the the strats work and and all this stuff it's 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 brilliant um hang on we definitely need to do this in yeah boo boo indeed oh you're doing the cga we definitely oh, yeah, yeah. have to do this in cga obviously there's yeah you can i think you can only do it when when it's not in a oh hang on no i wouldn't load that no, I'm saving it. Oh, you're, save, oh, you're saving it, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm yeah. saving over this. I'm, uh, I'm keeping... Okay, so don't load it up because you'll have to go and learn the jokes again. No, sorry, yeah. <laughs> uh, d d d continue. All right. In we go. Now we're cooking oh, with yeah. magic. Okay. Oh, oh, hotkeys. You know what? I really, I, it's like, it really takes me back because I'm mean, I used to, all the games I used to play were all in CGA. And yeah. they look shit. But it's like, it's really cute. I like it. Oh, you're oh, you're supposed to get the punchline. I forgot what um, what, what did I just what pick? It? Oh, Snoop Dogg's favorite, uh, wasn't it? It was a Venus flight wrap. That wasn't that wasn't right, was it? Okay, I think you get. Oh, that didn't sound right. Yeah, no, you fucked yeah, that one up. Oh, how many uh, do overs do I get? Oh, you can go. You can just keep going on this one. It's because it's it's quite it's still quite early on in the game, so I've been a bit generous with that and just said like, you know what? Okay, so Snoop Dogg's. Dog's latest song. Yeah, that one. It was a Venus. Get it? Oh, it's cheeky. Right. So you get a, you've, got, you've got a boo hat. So you've got, got like a, a oh, slightly slightly better. Keep, like, keep going. Um, slide drive's favorite game. Snap. Ah, uh, we're, we're getting there. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> uh, getting there, getting there. Why do carnivorous plants love old adventure games? They're full of bugs. It's actually a very. Uh, I like this, but yeah, we're winning them over. This is comedy gold. This is good. This is almost insult sword fighting, but not really. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a much sort of simpler kind of hmm. version of it. Originally, it, when I did this, it didn't. Uh, you didn't actually have to do the punchlines either. You just, you just, you just learned the jokes and then you told the jokes, which was uh. the whole thing. And then someone said, "Like, surely you should like have to mix and match and get the right punchline." But uh. yeah, that sort of seems obvious. Like, but originally, I'd just done it so you, you just you, you have to look, you have to learn the jokes and then you just you just tell the whole joke. Um, but I quite like it. It's, 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 not, it's not it's not much of a puzzle, but like I said, it's quite early on in the That's game. That's still good. I don't mind it. That's still good. I'm here all week. And here we go, Why last one. Carnivorous plants like wearing trousers because their flies keep getting stuck. I can try to get to see the scores in I... I'm on fire. You should be able to. Thank you and good night. Well, that's all the jokes I know. Nine, eight, nine. Oh, what? I'm happy yes. with that. That should be pretty so good. It's, kind of it's, it's uh, the score. The score is random within certain parameters. Yeah. Well, that so you should... don't always. You don't always get like nine, eight, nine. That should be good, right? Hello. Hey, little lady. Hey. I scored over twenty points. What's my prize? I can do that voice for about ten minutes, and then my throat <laughs> closes up. I really wanted to like record my own uh, like death metal and such, but I I just cannot get the technique down. So I just <laughs> 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 like that hurts now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tutorial Guy. Good tip. Thanks. Anytime. Anytime. Oh yeah, I got a big giant fly. It's a giant fly on a lead. Hmm. Well, can I go back behind the curtains again? Mr. Fumble's still hanging around <laughs> that there. <laughs> Poor fucker. No, nope, no, nope, we're stuck in here. That's fine. Well, it's called the trap. We have a bunch of flies on strings. Hang on, actually, he's on a lead, is uh, Mr. Fumble's still. Yeah, can I talk to him? You okay back there? Oh yeah, I'm having a wonderful time. You can let go now. Good. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Well, this guy kind of looks like uh. Actually, they all do. <laughs> they all look like Venus flytraps. Um. I've only seen seven, eight, and nine show up in the score so far. Ooh! Well, I got you beat so it, then. But it's, yeah, so it's, it should be it should be ran, uh, it should be random. I don't, it, it was random for a reason, and then the reason for it being random kind of got removed. 
but I quite like the fact that it's random because it means it's not just so when you when you do um like when you look at like a walkthrough or something like that, it's like it's it's not always going to be the same. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, That's a nice. It's a nice little touch. I like that. Thanks for the. Many times. Okay, so fly in a lead. Pinch me, pincher. I can't bring the fly with me. Obviously, it's a metaphor for something. Uh, the trap. Fly on a trap. That seems. I can't to... think of a good use for him here. No, nope, can't even use. Can I talk to him? Hi, Herman. <laughs> Cheers. Good talk. <laughs> Do you, do you remember what the what the barman said when he was giving you his? Tutorial? No, <laughs> no, I'm taking the piss. <laughs> uh, basically, say uh, you, you could, so what? Uh, anything you have in your inventory in one dream will stay in your inventory in another dream as well. Oh, is that what he said? Oh, as I thought he said that. Hey, anything... You're too, too busy taking the piss out of it. <laughs> oh, it's, I was busy. I, 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 I don't. My attention span is really short. Oh, I I thought he said if you. Uh, uh, what did the barman say? Stuff in your inventory doesn't come back with you. She, does, she, does oh. here. she reminds you here, just in case you weren't paying attention. Which I wasn't. Let's remove this natty dream box and see what happens when I go back to sleep. Oh, fly in a lead, fly in a lead. She also doesn't take her glasses off. I have done that, and it is... Fly, Herman, fly. It is horrifying to go to sleep with your glasses on, because I'm always afraid of breaking them. Oh. Job, Herman. I guess this means my nightmare's finally over. Oh, oh no. I very much doubt I have. <laughs> I think I'd better start running. I think I'd better start saving my game. I can't save my game. Oh. No, I forgot, mate. Not while you're in the nightmare. It doesn't last long, though. No. Each each nightmare, because it gives you like a, a kind of a, a, a sort of certain amount of time to react. So like the falling, and then there's so you've got kind of. Well, that was fun. I could call that progress, but frankly, it's not a whole lot more relaxing than plummeting. Is it a ravenous buck bladder beast of troll? More pearls of wisdom. <laughs> Chapter two. <laughs> the Breaking bread. Um, there are, there are, there are a couple of hitchhikers references in here. Uh, they're only, uh, they're only quite, I mean, like, I think there's one on the towel, and I think there's like a, a mention of like 42. Mm. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else particularly Okay, so a joke book's not going to cut it with Mr. Rawson. I also need to stuff food in the box as well. We can't go in the kitchen. I don't think fish food's going to cut it. Um, hmm, hmm. Cold tea, maybe? No. The uh, musical instrument one. No, the musical instrument one isn't isn't random. That is that is set. If I wanted to set that as sorry, this is on in the chat. Oh, if yeah. I wanted to set that one as being random as well. I probably could have done. Uh, but the problem is the so the there's a, there's a there's a musical puzzle later on where you have to uh, see what music. A bit like a bit like in Monkey Island with the with the the Murray. Oh yeah, oh, skull heads and things like that. You have to kind of things have to be played in a certain order, but it's slightly more. There's like another level to it, so you have to kind of know what order they were in, what order they're being played in, and what you need to change them to. And there's a bit of a kind of moving around. Um, but the the tunes that are actually played are actually those notes. So if I wanted to randomise it, they'd need to be a, a, a you know they'd need to be able to play those notes in. The, and, and it does actually play. If you get them wrong, it does play those note the wrong notes in the like. Or, those notes in no, in that wrong order, but it doesn't make a tune out of it. Oh, sweet medicine! You never know when you might need a tasty headache cure. Ah, uh, counts as food. Oh, I'm I'm loving the hotkeys. That doesn't need any painkillers. Oh, interesting. Fuck! Oh, hang on. Put the box on the uh, floor first. I not, I, right. I, yeah, I've not thought that about that. No. So Oops. you can't take real world objects with you. you oh, can, so, oh. There are, share things within from one Dreams. dream to another. Yeah. Wow, I'm just thinking that would have been a really, really cool mechanic. Like being able to actually just like choose one item at a time. But God, I mean that would yeah, that would from a programming point of view, like that would that would have been like then they would have to have responses for everything in the real yeah. world. Yeah. Like, oh God. Could be carrying in real world to work in any bit in the dream world as well. And that's just that's just too much. Whereas Pickle in ducks. the dream world, you do you do get more stuff in the dream world, but 
they're, they're more often than not there are there are fewer objects that you're Hello. carrying at any one time in the dreams than there are in, in the real world. Thanks for anytime. It's the barman's own. Pickle Duck says we can use the computer now. I don't recall actually getting a pass key, but uh, oh well, yeah well, me. Was I not paying attention again? I don't know. Have a, have a, have a look at the have a look at the have a look at the laptop and see what you think. Looks like I've got an email. It wants my passcode. I don't suppose it's the score we got. <laughs> um, I forget. Let me, let me to remind you what it was. Yeah, was it nine eight nine? No, it was nine eight nine. Yeah, nine eight nine. That's it. Oh. Right. Let's read that email. It's a good thing I have the chat here because my ADHD is not cut out for this. Do I remember remember what? this? No, I don't remember this. It's from someone calling themselves H. Looks like there's a photo attached. Blood and gore, blood and gore, blood and gore, blood and gore. It's an or a panda. from the local paper ten years ago. Ferret. Obviously ferret murdered. The director was my brother. Clinton's controversial new theme park, Disneyland, was found murdered the day before the grand opening. Hmm. He was discovered dressed up as the park's mascot, the Disney Ferret. However, police are still searching for the missing head of the costume, as they believe it may help lead them to the head of the director. Which is also missing. Also yes! Missing. <laughs> the rest of the article's been torn off. <laughs> Good. Good. Something's coming back Oh, you, to you me. triggered a repressed memory. Oh, good. Oh, it turns out we were the psychopath all along. Oh, this is nice. I once went to a theme park. It had a giant dinosaur and a Ferris There's wheel. something familiar about this whole story. My past, my memories, my nightmares. I feel like they're all... My wet pajamas. This event. My dad's books helping me to control my dreams. Yeah, he really shouldn't well, have let that find just out lying out. <laughs> what went on ten years ago? Maybe I'll be able to rid myself of these nightmares altogether. I reckon the local library will have a full copy of the article in its archives. My bike's parked just outside the house. Well, cheerio, Miss Sophie. Um, so I think this we're we're getting on uh, two hours. So I think this might be a good time. I say, I'd say, for me, I'd say this is probably a, like a pretty good place to leave it. Like you've done, you've you've done the, this. This is pretty much the point where when I made the first demo, you have got you have got twelve slots to choose from. You yes, don't have to do it but I'm being very to. conservative about this stuff. Um, the oh, I, yeah. so I originally created a demo and it ended about here and it was about two hours long. Yeah. Um, and then, then I started playing other people's demos and realized that that's just ridiculous. So created a, a kind of a whole new demo. I uh, had a, like a week or so before we were, were kind of sorting out the stuff for the Kickstarter. So using the same scenes, basically kind of stripped out the stuff, that like the dream stuff and, like, and created this new demo, which is just like a little fetch quest. Mm. Um, and that takes kind of 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, depending on how long you, you want to play for. Played, but it's like completely separate kind of puzzles to the full game. And then I used the two two hours that I'd already created, which is this, and kind of bank that, and I've used it in the, as the as the full game rather than using that as the demo. Um, oh, oh, is this your, is this your dance? This is supposed really? to be. The, I was supposed to be doing a whole video routine. I didn't think anyone would actually do this, but apparently I still don't know how Twitch works. Yeah. So this is. <laughs> By the way, this is 10 minutes long. Obviously, we're not going to do the whole thing, but I'll just quickly show you what the uh, point of this is. In fact, to, uh, we might as well introduce him now. I've already warned you about this, uh, but we do have a new mascot for the stream. Uh, his name is Steve, and this looks like a still image of Steve, but he is, in fact, live. I'm going to wiggle him around a bit. So for, for today's dance options, this is Tom rolling his eyes, isn't it? Yes, this I, is... No, no, I'm, I, it's, it's a thing of beauty. I'm looking forward to seeing how you... How you... I'm just, I'm just going to quickly point out that this is a going on 42-year-old man trying to be cool with the kids on Twitch and having dance sauce. Steve didn't answer my question earlier. I'm sorry, did, did Steve... Oh, hang on. Oh, Yes, yes, Summer Redeep. 45 minutes ago, Steve, why is Lucy's head massive compared to the rest of her body? Um, I don't think Steve actually knows the answer to that one. Steve, could you, could you ask? Uh... Oh, yeah, go on. Ask. Is he asking me? Or is he asking... Oh, no, is he, is he, is he, what, does, what, does, what does Steve, what does Steve think? Steve is, uh, is, is saying he doesn't actually know the answer to that one. So he's, he's asking you. He's going to defer. He's going to defer um... this one. 
the basic i mean i, I it, it allowed for more kind of facial expression and and things like that it was also also inspired by thimbleweed park and maniac mansion and that kind of slightly oversized sort of bobble-headed thing um no real, real reason other than other than that really i, I quite like i quite like that look um so i used it well that's uh, that's a great <laughs> explanation and uh, i drew it uh, and, uh, well, that's that's actually the thing, right? Because when you do pixel art, many times you can't do facial expressions. That's why in Sierra games they have the portraits that come up that also don't have any real facial expressions. And Wadjet Eye games have the portraits that that change facial expressions depending on what mood the characters are in and such. And and you can actually do facial expressions, but what does happen is it turns into a bobblehead. Uh, but it, and but I, it, I think I think in in like future, I mean, I really like the way. Um, <coughs> The like uh, dark side detective and things like that look um, with mm. much much simpler, um, much I mean lower much lower resolution than than uh, the mine as well. Um, so I quite I quite like that. So I think uh, in in you know, like any future games, if and when that happens, I think I might sort of have a look at doing doing ones that are maybe not quite so massive headed. Um, <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not it's not a bad look, but it's I don't think I I'm not it's not something that I'm kind of personally that's not my personal style it's just the style i chose for for this particular game i i quite like it uh oh chankis has another question uh which is not a redeemable thing so steve isn't involved in this one uh is there a midi out options in the game so you can play the music on real hardware i'm gonna venture a no i think they're just digital no but that um have a chat so someone else has asked um this as well on twitter um oh. if you find bertrand on Twitter, uh, if you if you've got if you've got the game, you, uh, I, I'm trying to think. You, you, his, his name's in the credit, so you can inter work out how to spell it. And I think his Twitter handle is just the same. Um, but he's offered to. Um, oh, he's offered. Oh, he said he's. I think he said it needs like the the, the MIDI files would require a little bit of mucking about and and, and sort of. Oh, there, there we, we go. There he is. Um, so we require a bit of a bit of, of of him sort of tidying them up, but I think he has. I think he is happy to provide, you know, to, to provide them for, for for people and things like that. I don't know whether he would charge for that or not. That's I, I as far as I'm concerned. I I although I commissioned him to sort of do the music, we've also the agreement that we've got with him is that I'm not going to then sell it personally as like additional DLC. And he is, you know, he's he, he, he you know. I think we both ask each other's permission for doing other things. Like mm. that, but I'm quite happy for him to, to put the MIDI files out there if he wants to, um, and for you know people to muck about with them and mash up with them. But have a have a chat with have a chat with him. Yeah, I yeah. certainly don't have any issues with people. That's a that's a great deal, by the way. I've, um, I'm I'm currently doing music for a couple of games as well, and that's the same deal uh, we've got there. Uh, they say, okay, we're going to use the music in the game, and you're free to do the whatever you want with the music on the side. So the music is yours, the game is ours, and that's the deal. Yeah, my thing is, it's like it's all it's all good. My, my my guess is anyone who wants a copy of the mini bar, wants a copy of the the, the the game the game music, it's all it all helps to promote the game, and the game helps to promote the music, and mm -hmm. so there's no point in kind of restricting anyone for any particular reason. So just yeah, but have, have a chat, have a chat with Bertrand. Yep, um, I'm sure he'll be able to help you out. He's a, he's a lo really lovely guy, um, and he's he's I mean he's this is just his. This is his thing. This is what he does. So the music there. is fantastic he'll, as well. He'll talk, he'll talk to you about it at length. I'm sure if you. Uh, <laughs> well, we've uh, we've put it off for long enough. Uh, so uh, I, I promise I'll have a real uh, video for this uh, for the next stream. But uh, this is the. Um See, I can't hear that either. So this is just really strange. It's just a, <laughs> a note just wobbly back and forth. In silence. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's He's having a merry pogo. I'm gonna have to watch this that's, afterwards for that's... context of like what the music was like. Uh the music is terrible. So, uh, okay. uh briefly, uh, okay, I'll, 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 uh, I'll explain this for your benefit so you don't lose sleep over this. Uh, <laughs> in the Amiga version of King's Quest VI, for some strange ass backwards reason. The uh, the Amiga version was actually done by Revolution Software, 
uh, way back in the early days. Uh, and what they did was they took the whole game apart and rebuilt it in their own game engine because Sierra's game engine runs like absolute turd on the Amiga. Uh, so they rebuilt it in their own engine and they also redid all the music uh, because, you know, Amiga, not MIDI. Uh, but for some ungodly reason, when you go to the netherworld and everything's like dark and dank and you meet up with the Prince of Darkness and you bar- bargain with him for the release of the uh, deceased parents of your b- betrothed or whatever the fuck, all of a sudden this jaunty little polka music starts playing as his steed descends and carries you off from the netherworld into the land of the living. And it's just, it, it, it just boggles my mind. So that's the, uh, that's the dance tune. Like okay, I'll, I'll I'll catch I'll catch up on because uh, you gotta you gotta post this on like YouTube. Oh, as well, absolutely, absolutely. This is going on YouTube, oh. but I'll I'll be happy to send you the ten minute MP3 I've got here as well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. It's just I'll a... use it on my trip to the netherworld. Absolutely, do that. Get in the car on the way down. I'll, uh, I'll I'll get some... Uh, actually, I, I quite like Steve's dance routine. If I can just nail this uh, piece of black... It's actually the top of a shoebox. <laughs> it's, like, it's, a, it's the top of a shoebox. He's just standing inside of it. Oh, my God. Again, the professionalism is... Uh, <laughs> Is, is is paramount you know what yeah yeah pickle dog actually says we could do a bunch of different uh, uh different dance tunes when people redeem that i hope that i hope i put in a, a cool down for the dance break i think there's a 10 <laughs> 20 <laughs> minutes like three months because apparently people have just amassed vast quantities of, like for, for the entire time i've been streaming and i've done nothing with it so now everyone is just suddenly a millionaire i own you now apparently yes uh, but this this was absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me for this time. Oh, it's been good fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's uh, it's amazing. Uh, we'll we'll um, do this next Tuesday unless stuff gets in the way. Obviously, I mean you do have uh, things to do, but uh, um, real real work, <laughs> actual, actual work. <laughs> but um, I really don't want to. Do. But I've, 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 I'm just going to say I've had a great time, and thank you for all the insights and all the information and all that. And uh, we'll. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll catch up uh, hopefully next Tuesday. Brilliant. Good stuff. Cheers. Well, uh, and to everyone who joined us in the, uh, in the chat, have a, have a good one. And thanks for staying up late, all of those of you in the Americas and uh, everyone else. Just thanks very much. And I actually do have a stream is over card. So here we go. It's got Tom on it. <laughs> I just got to turn off the Tom cam. There, we go. There, we, there you go. Thanks so much for coming. Bye, everyone.